Hi, I'm here to show you how to use Project. First and foremost, you're going to go to the internet choice of yours. Safari, um, Firefox, any of those work. Um, I already had a window open, so I'm going to hit new window. So first thing first is you're going to open a new window for whatever internet source you would like. Then you're going to go to www.project with a Q instead of a C dot com. it will bring you to this page. So Project is a presentation program that will let you link to alternate um, social medias like Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, anything like that. Um, you'll be able to link to your project. Project's kind of like a fancy PowerPoint. Um, you can do any number of displays. Um, first things first is what you'll do is sign up. I already have an account, so I'm gonna log in. It will bring you to this. Um, yours will be blank. Um, and then um, first things first is you're going to create a new project. I'm going to label mine as demo. Um, this is the name. And then the description, you can write whatever you would like. Um, this is just a little bit about your project, how many, what you think you're gonna be, your project's going to be about. So I'm going to do demo on project. You can obviously write different ones. Now, it also has tags. Tags are basically like hashtags that you would use in Twitter or Facebook or, Pin or um, Instagram, those kinds of things. Um, however, if you use Project, they have their own, and it will link you to different sites, so you are more than welcome to add your own tags. There is a maximum of 25 tags, so then you would just hit Create, and your project will come up. So this is what screen it will bring you to. Um, first things that I like to do is to edit these things up here. So first you'll want to do a theme. Um, you can do a basic PowerPoint, which is a slideshow in this classic version or this linear version. Um, or you could do vertical and it'll go up and down, which is also pretty much like a PowerPoint. It just goes up and down versus left and right. Or a tile. Um, I think I'm going to do tile for this project. And then I'm going to choose my color palette. It will ask you to save every single time you leave a page. So I'm going to hit save. Um, you can do light or dark. I'm going to probably stick with light for now. Then you'll do fonts. Uh, it's obviously getting a plus version, which I'm assuming will probably be charged, um, but then you'll have more options. But for now, these are the options that you have. I personally like the classic italic. Then you can do a background, um, and I keep forgetting to save. And I personally like images, so I'm going to choose an image. So all you do is hit choose file, go to, obviously you would go to, um, scroll down and go to photos in an Apple product and then you can choose through it. I'm going to use this one that we used for class. Um, I'm going to stretch it to fill the entire background. Otherwise you can set it, center it or put it on any place that you would like. Save changes. It's uploading and saving. It won't pop up right away, but when you view your project at the end, it will pop up. So then you're back to this page. Um, if you want to share your project or have two people working on it, you have the option under security and sharing to make it private or you can add a guest account. And that person, then you would click this and add the person person's information to the guest account and they would be able to edit it as well. I, however, don't have anyone to do that with, so I'm going to just save the changes for now. And then I'm going to exit out. So first I'm going to add, um, we'll do a Google Doc. The one thing you should know about Google Docs is that it must be a published Google Doc. You cannot choose one that's in edit mode because it will not upload because it's not published to the web. So that is something to remember for Google Docs. So I'll go down here and I'll click Google Docs. And I'm going to call this Google Docs just for showing purposes and then what I'll do here is paste in the URL so what I would do is go into my Google Docs which is right here I would copy this link whatever the published website link is control copy copy and then I'll minimize that and I'll go here and where this little cursor is I will paste now we talked about tags earlier for Twitter and such 
For this, you can also have tags. So you have up to four tags per slide. So you'll just type in whatever tags you would like to add there. And then you're also welcome to go through here and you can have info about your tag. Um, for your, about your Google Doc, you can show slide during certain times, hide it. Um, it just depends. You have There's so many options on this website. I won't be able to cover it in three minutes. You can also do the theme, size, medium, large. Um, you can choose a hover image so that will cover it until you click over the document. Um, however, I'm going to leave it how it is and hit create. So what will happen is my Google Doc will pop up. This will show up in a document form that you can scroll up and down on. So it will be a slide, but in, slides usually have um, a word cut off or how many words can fit on the slide. This will be able to scroll up and down left and right to see that whole document. The next one I'm going to do is Twitter, I believe. So what I'm going to do is click add slide, go down to the Twitter icon which is right the very first one. I'll click that. I will label this Twitter. And then same thing as before, you can also add a tag, you can add themes, you can add pictures. Um, but what you'll wanna do is go to a specific Twitter link. So it needs to be a tweet. It cannot be the whole page. It can be the whole page if you would like the whole page, but if you want one specific tweet, you need to be on that specific tweet. And so what you'll do then is then you'll copy the hyperlink again. I'm going to minimize that. And then I'll paste that into this. And then I'll hit create. What that will do is bring up specifically that tweet. Now if you wanted a whole page, you could do that. Um, you would just it would show up a little bit different on the slide. But I personally just wanted that one that one tweet so um, so another example that I would like to show is um, a blog so this is just text this is not linking to any specific any specific um, social media so what I will want to do is just hit text um, we're gonna call this blogs because I would like to link to a blog and then of course again you can add tags of any kind so my headline I can write in anything I would like um, and you can really type in anything and then what I'm going to do is go to advanced I'm going to scroll down and here's this link slide and what this is going to do is take me directly to a web page an entire web page so what I'm going to want to do is go to the blog, which is, this is the one I've chosen, is Life and Special Education. I'm going to copy the hyperlink. Then I'm going to paste the hyperlink into that link slide. And then what I'm going to do is open link in new window when clicking content. So then when I click the website, when I click that page or that slide, it will pull up that web page. You can also do it where once you get to that slide, it'll automatically go to that page instead of having you click it. Um, so you would just uncheck this if you wanted directly to go to that page. Sometimes it's easier to click it first if you wanted to talk about it before you clicked it. Then I'll hit create. And that will pop up this. And all I would do is once I view my project, click on that and it will pop me up to that page. Um, last but not least, you can do, we'll add a video. So you'll go here and you'll go to YouTube. Um, I haven't opened up a YouTube page, so I'm going to open a new window. I'm going to go into YouTube.com. Please ignore my Facebook. And then I will pick a different YouTube video that I would like to share. So we'll do um, the UN, UN um, feminist speech from Emma Watson. You, of course, could pick anything. And all you would do is go to that actual page, copy the hyperlink, and then paste into the YouTube link here and hit create. Now, these auto play video, um, you obviously can put yes or no, and then the video aspect ratio is something that I'm not 
little unsure on what that is, but you just type this YouTube link in, hit create, and here's the video down here on this part of the screen. So all you would do is once you got past the blog and you went back to your project, you hit play and the video will begin. So now that we've kind of gotten some of the basics, um, we're going to view the project. Once you come up with your to your project, this is the background photo we chose. Um, these are the different, it will tell you what the names of the slides are that you can click. Now if it was in a slideshow version, then you could just, it would you would view it and it would become a slideshow. So you would hit view full screen. Um, this picture would still be in the background, but you could um, scroll through these. Now this is, this type is more for if you are going to um, individually show someone different different pages. Um, the slideshow one is probably more for if you were giving a presentation. So that is how you use project. Um, and if you ever want to share your project, um, first you would hit create the project. And once you created your project, you could share it right here and it will bring up a link to show you where to share it. So that is how you use project and I hope you enjoyed it.